in the in the process of becoming energy consultants, we need to build a basis on mechanical engineering, chemical engineering, and electrical engineering. So here's an attempt by myself to get you started on uh, on chemistry. Now, I didn't start chemistry until I was in a junior in high school, and I, I didn't know what to expect, so um, I, I was nervous. And now, what I what I've done in teaching my kids, approximately 13 years of age, I've tried a technique that I didn't see in school, and it worked. They they kind of get the basis of chemistry, and uh, I'll take a shot at showing you what I was doing. So, uh, in chemistry, you have each the smallest element in chemistry is an atom. Actually, there are smaller elements, but the, the a unit of size is atom, and each atom has a different number. So if we look over here at this group of atoms, they have different numbers, and they're different names. They're all called noble gases, and there's something very special about them, is that they are the only atoms that are happy. Now, um, when a historian, in the past, when historians were going along and looking, were pioneering chemistry, they were doing reactions and they were, they were finding new atoms and figuring out how they acted, they never found these. They never found all of these, and the reason is they were happy and they didn't react with anyone. They didn't want to, they had no motivation to do to to combine, and that's what atoms do, is they combine and they make molecules, and they, they one guy's unhappy in one, guy, one way, and the other guy's unhappy in the other way, and working together, they can, they can simulate this. Now, in an atom, let's jump to the simplest atom, hydrogen. Hydrogen has a number of one. Everybody has a different number. And you know, the thing is, as you change one number from like one to two to three, the behavior of the atom changes dramatically. There's wild changes in just one, one number uh, in their atomic number, which is how many plus signs they have in the middle. So here we have hydrogen, and it's got a, a number, atomic number of one, and it has one plus sign in the middle, and the plus sign and the minus sign must be matched. So zipping around hydrogen, is an electron, a minus, a minus one. Electrons are the things that flow in electricity, so electrons, electricity, because they're not, they're not kind of held down. They're zooming all over the place. They're free, and when electricity flows, they actually jump off of one atom and go to the next. They're, they're really, they're like gypsies. <laughs> they don't, they're not nailed down. Now, when this hydrogen comes along, he's unhappy. He's not happy because he would like to be the closest he can be, the closest perfect uh, size he can be is two. So what he does is he, he finds another hydrogen. He, he can find many, many things to pair up with, but if he, he one, one option is to pair up with another hydrogen. And then what they do is they share their electrons. And they, by sharing, the, they can create the illusion that they're helium. Now helium, being perfect, has two in the middle and then two guys zipping around on the outside. And that, that's exactly the way helium likes that, two in the middle and two on the outside, two electrons zooming around. That is perfect, and by, com by getting next to each other and overlapping their, their spheres in which their electrons operate, they can create the feeling that they're a two in their electron world, even though they'll never ever be satisfied in their, um, it's called the proton, in their plus world. They'll never be happy here, but they can pretend to be happy um, out here in the electrons. And this is how atoms come together and are held together um, by, by this, this convenient way of sharing. And that's each atom has a different, each molecule has a different energy in which they're held together. And that's a lot of what happens in chemistry is that reactions either are put out heat or re put out energy or take in energy. And that's, that's a lot of chemistry. So this guy here would be called H2 because it's just two hydrogens next to each other. That's, that's his formula, H2. Now let's go into why it is, or let's, let's go into 
a list of numbers that describe all of the the first ten atoms. Okay, and now we know that two of these guys in here, number two and ten, are content. They they don't react with anyone. They're they, everybody wants to be like them. Now, what happens is we did see just a second ago that when we had hydrogen, it tried to look like helium. They go, they go to their closest perfection point. So one goes to two, and three would go to two, and nine would go to ten. So you always go to your closest, the closest guy who you feel looks like perfection, and you overlap your electrons to create that feeling. Now, um, what what happens here is you take a guy like three who wants, who's got an extra electron and he wants to get rid of it. So what he does is he, he's got three positives in the middle and he's got, he's got two electrons going around here. And then he's got another one kind of spinning off here that he really doesn't want. He, first you start with two in a circle and then you build this kind of this dumbbell thing. And so this, this guy over here, He's got nine in the middle. We're gonna we're gonna make the three and the nine get together, and then he puts out his lobe. And now this guy would like that electron to be over here most of the time. He's trying to get rid of it and get down to this perfect helium state where you just have two. And this guy's trying to double up, and they they're very happy together. And this number three is lithium, and number nine is fluoride. So you this molecule, this combined two atoms is lithium fluoride and it's called the salt because when you get um, when you get these ones that are real close on this side and real close on this side when they come together they're, they're salt and lithium fluoride is a salt so that's the way in which the atoms make themselves happy by looking making their their electron orbitals seem happy and now the most interesting thing well, for us in the study of organic chemistry, and organic chemistry means life forms, things that live, um, carbon is here in the middle. This is our friend carbon. Now, if you look, you'll see that carbon is unique in that it can go from 6 to 10, which is 1, 2, 3, 4. It can, take, it can move, pick up 4 electrons, or it can go this way, and lose four electrons. So it, it's equidistant between helium and neon, or the appearance of helium and neon. And the reason that, that when you burn a hydrocarbon, when you, when you have carbon and hydrogen together, your carbon and hydrogen are, look, are making the carbon look like neon. So before, this guy has, he's, he's going in this direction, and he's looking like neon, and then after combustion, he jumps down to look like hydrogen. And this is, this is a higher energy state. Higher energy state. And that word simply means that if you move, everything always wants to move from a high energy state to a low energy state. Just like the rock on the top of a hill is in a high energy state and wants to roll down the hill to get to a lower energy state. And so when you burn that hydrocarbon, this, this carbon and hydrogen up in here, like methane, it jumps down to a carbon dioxide state over here, lower energy state, gives off heat. That's what we're building the whole world on is these hydrocarbon burning. And it all comes down to the fact that he'd rather be a 2 than a 10, even though both of them are perfect. This is lower energy state. That is the basis of chemistry 101. Um, it's a different way of talking about it than most people, but it, it kind of gives you a real feeling as to why burning actually actually does something instead of just having a reaction like lithium fluoride, which you know is just a salt, not as kind of kind of worth. I mean, not worthless, but not that relevant. So, chemistry 101. That's it.